welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a little get ready with me slash fall look. I'm actually getting ready to go to the movies. The Thor movie, the new Thor movie came out and my favorite character in all of the Thor movies is Loki. So I kind of wanted to match him a little bit and that is why I decided to do the green eyes today. Um, this is one of my go-to fall looks with just a few things different um, but I almost always love to do like really deep olivey green eyes um, I love green eyeshadow oh my gosh I love it I feel like it makes my eyes look pretty so so if you guys are interested just keep on watching I'm going to start off by taking this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow in Golden Emerald and applying that all over the lid. This is definitely my most favorite eyeshadow of all of the L'Oreal Infallible shadows. I love this color. Next, I'm going to take this Naked Cosmetics Trio eyeshadow, which I got in my BoxyCharm, and I'm going to dip into this olivey green shadow. It looks really pretty. I just want the eyeshadow to look a little bit more like an olive shade, and not so much like a deep forest color. I'm just going to take that green and dust it into the crease. Now, I kind of want a warmer crease. So I'm going to take this Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries palette that I got in my BoxyCharm and I'm going to mix uh, stunner and splurge you can find these colors in so many different palettes so just use whatever color that you have that's similar I just want a little bit of warmth I literally look forward to any and every Marvel movie that comes out. I'm so excited for this movie. When Civil War came out, the one with mainly Iron Man and Captain America, I almost lost it. Those two are my favorite, for sure. I'm going to highlight my brow bone using Private Party, which is just a matte cream shade. I'll be going over my brow bone with something else later, but in the meantime, I just kind of want to lift the brow bone just a little bit. Now taking a clean, fluffy crease brush, I'm just going to blend everything and make sure everything is seamless. I'm going to go back into that L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Emerald and reapply that on the lid because most of it did get swept away. For the brow bone highlight and the inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Now I'm going to just create a wing. Next, I'm going to apply some black eyeliner on my waterline and my tightline as well. For this, I'm just using this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner, which I either got in my Ipsy bag or BoxyCharm, one of those. But of course, you can use any liner that you have.
for the bottom lashes, I'm just going to use that same olive green color that uh, I took from the Naked Cosmetics trio. This one right here. And I'm going to sponge that on the bottom lashes. For the bottom lash line on the outer corner, I want a little bit of a darker shade. You can use either a black or a dark green. I'm going to dip into my Lorac Pro 2 palette and take the color Jade and a little bit of black and smudge that right there. So I just wet my brush with some setting spray and applied some highlighter. This one is the Dupe That and Ofra Cosmetics You Do You highlighter. And I kind of wanted the inner corner to be a little bit more intense, so I applied that into the inner corner. I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick and I will be right back. I'm going to curl my lashes. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. You can, of course, add falsies if you'd like, but um, usually when I go out, I don't ever wear falsies. They're usually just for makeup tutorials. And I normally never wear, ever, foundation when I go out. Um, it's just preference, but for the sake of this makeup tutorial, I am going to use just a little bit of concealer. Normally, I just use banana powder and that's it. But um, on camera, it doesn't translate well. So, this is the Tarte Shape Tape, by the way, um, in light, medium, honey. I'm going to dip into this banana powder by Ofra Cosmetics and highlight my face with that. Now I'm going to bronze my face just a little bit using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I love this bronzer and this brush. This brush is amazing. What is this? I don't even... This is the Royal and Langnickel Moda Pro pointed brush. And I believe I got this also in my BoxyCharm. If I didn't have BoxyCharm, I, I don't even know if I would get this much makeup. <laughs> it is so hot right now. <sighs> I think my husband put the heater like on blast. For blush, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Blushing Natural Blush. It's this it's super neutral blush. But it's not really pink, it's not really orange, it's just perfect. For highlights, I'm going to go back into the Ofra Cosmetics You Do You highlight. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of that same highlighter on my pinky and just dab just a tiny bit right on the center of my eyelid just to create a little bit of a pop as you can see for the lips um, one of my favorite lip combinations for fall are these two Oprah Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. The first one is in Americano 
And the second one is in Miami Fever. So I'm first starting off with Americano. And then right in the center, I'm going to add Miami Fever. Finally, I'm going to set my face. Now, as a final touch, I'm going to be adding one of my favorite perfumes. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black perfume. And I really like the white one too, but for fall and for nighttime, I love putting this one on. It's so nice. <sighs> Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm, the eyeliner on my... Oh my gosh, on my Mickey ears! Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, for blush, I'm going to use. For blush, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula. Ah! shot my ear oh my gosh <sighs> that literally went right into my ear okay let's try this again I think Loki is definitely my favorite Marvel villain he's just so he's so funny and I actually like him better than the main character what? that that never happened ever but he's too adorable. I would say Bucky is my favorite, but I don't think he's a bad guy. He's a good guy. He's a good boy. My face feels so hot right now. <sighs> my husband. I'm telling you. <sighs> created a sauna. My face is like turning red because it's so hot. I turned off the heat and everything and I'm still like... <sighs> It's not cooling down. <laughs>